What's up players, it's Jeff from Tetherlands Space here and today I'm bringing you part 3 of my Dawnguard DLC playthrough. We're here to get the new recruits, uh, so here is Gunmar. You there, hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. All right, so let's go defeat the bear then, because... Whatever. It's only a bear, right? Should be a piece of cake. Walk in the park. An absolute breeze. Or maybe not. Or maybe it'll be really, really difficult. There's a big giant ass bear with sharp teeth and claws and whatnot. Oh. Right, how did you not die? There we go. Alright, where are you? You big scallywag. Oh, I hate these things. Oh man, that is a big bear. Right, taking out the frost troll at least. Oh, here comes the cave bear. I'm going to put you down. Or not. Alright. Yeah, you can deal with that. I'm gonna go after this bear. Gonna go Ooh, dear. Mm, Oh I missed. Bad time to miss. Oh thank god. And they never have any decent loot. Right. Now will you help Don't out know Israel? Well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. I've He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. Words. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Okay, now we got to go off and find uh, Soreen Jurad. Uh, and she's in the middle of nowhere, really. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm next to her. Oh, well, that was a bloody pain in the ass to get to her. Uh, there's also a dragon over there, but whatever. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it Mud crabs. Well, just look around, will you? Yep, I actually saw them on the uh, way in. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. Said some very hurtful things to me before I left. <laughs> anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I. Well. It's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I think I might actually. Um. Until. Be yeah, I actually found the satchel on my way in. It was there. It is. Doo -doo. Uh, just the one, please. Thank you. All right. 
Come on, Soreen. Let's go help out Isran. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, come on. Why can't I just pick up the dime? Right, come on. Yep, yep, yep. It's like Sims talk now. But I'm not. So either I need. She's eating bread. Thank you. Now. Right. Where is it? East. Ah, I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. All right. See you there. All right. So it woo. Uh, let's go back to Fort Dawnguard and uh. God damn it! They really need to fix that. But they probably won't, will they? And I can't fast travel because that blooming thing. Let's just go up here. Oh, all right. Let's just take down the dragon. Come on, then you. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Just gonna equip dragon rend. Whoa! Oh, I missed. Dragons are way easy to kill now because every time you hit them, they like cower. But that is a really cool looking dragon. Look at those spikes on its back. They look awesome. Bam! Right in the belly. Right in the belly. Sweet. Never gets old. That actually is a really cool looking dragon. Just need to get your soul. Because I'm dragonborn. And then uh, then we're good to go. Alright. Now I'll see you at Dawnguard. Peace. doing making sure you're not vampires can't be too careful so welcome to Fort Dawn guard I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against powerful vampires unlike anything we've seen before and they have an elder scroll if anyone is going to stand in their way it's going to be us this is all well and good but do we actually know anything about what they're doing what do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Alright, so there we go. There is the quest, the new order completed, and we shall do the profit in the next episode, which is episode number four. So I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Peace.